Over the weekend, Bruce Harris, a Microsoft technical evangelist, posted a video on YouTube with a few details about HoloLens, including that it only has a five-hour battery life, and that's only when you're using it for Word documents and email, which to me was not the promise of HoloLens. Uh, if you try to play games or run 3D applications on it, Harris said the battery only lasts two and a half hours. Uh, Harris's own video has since been removed from YouTube, but it's been posted by others. I think we were watching a little bit of it. So uh, he's an evangelist speaking. Uh, you know, he a lot of people have had access to HoloLens, not regular people, but they've slowly been giving access. And this did not sound so good. Yeah, I, I'm a little disappointed from when HoloLens was first released. There's was been first a, announced. There's been like Holo, yeah. HoloLens first announced. And every single time, you know, more people information, see it. more right. people get access to it. I mean, and it even sounded like the first access to it was a lot greater right. than, than it's gotten over time. And I, I don't know if expectations have just changed over time or what. I, I think that's what's, what's taken, killed the buzz because mm. the first version that people got their hands on was actually pretty spectacular. And then they had the, the one that they had Microsoft build. And people were saying, whoa, it, this is a step back. The screen right. is smaller. I don't have any peripheral vision. And now it looks like it's taken one more step back beyond that. So you know, the question is, well, who are you pitching this for now? I mean, obviously, this is not an immersive thing. If I can only wear it for five hours before I have to plug in, it means either I'm sitting in a chair, which, okay, why would I need this product? Or it means it's for a very specific use case that is not this. It's not the guy walking through his house designing a motorcycle. So, yeah, I, I think that what Microsoft is saying, you know, now it's like they're sort of backpedaling. Well, this is this is still the developer's version. There's going to be a lot of changes. Uh, I know that the thing that it was a year ago that they announced uh, at Microsoft, I guess the, the big announcement they made was on January 21st, around that time of 2015. Uh, and what they, what people got to see and use was definitely not what they have now. It was like really heavy. That's what they said. Mm -hmm. You know, that it was, you know, it was this great, it was a great product that was not at all practical in terms of wearing uh, it around because it was heavy. And they said, you know, this isn't what it's going to look like. Um, but it's interesting uh, that they, I don't know, it just, it seems like I was really excited about a year ago and now I'm getting slowly and slowly more. Uh, disappointed that it's not going to be this big promise. There's a lot of stuff happening in a small amount of space when you're talking about HoloLens, I think, right? And so I guess, you know, part, on, on one hand, I was kind of disappointed to see, you know, five hours cut down to two and a half, whatever. But then I have to compare it to like smartphone usage or, you know, I guess it depends on what you're comparing it to, right? Because like if you pull, you know, fully charge up many uh, top of the line smartphones right now with with decent sized batteries and you run it with the screen on and and do very intensive things with it for five hours you're going to kill the battery in five hours that's just the way it is but you know batteries capacity uh has limits so i mean i guess a part of part of me thinks okay well i mean i guess that's not horrible it's not 20 minutes it's not the amount of time you get out of a drone you know <laughs> okay yes because yes, then you compare okay. it to the drone drone world and you're like 20 minutes that's nothing but we accept that for drones. Why not accept two and a half hours or, or five hours for a, a you know a, a mobile VR unit um, like this? Oh, and the other thing is with the tech press, so we're we're notoriously hard to make happy. Uh -huh. uh, personally, if if they send us a unit, I will use that thing and I will knife anyone who tries to take it away from me because I I, <laughs> I love the promise and yeah. I have seen AR and I think that is so much more important than VR. I I, I want to see Microsoft spin on it. Uh, so when I say I'm, I'm getting a little disappointed, couch that in, I'm getting disappointed, but I still want the same yeah. more than anything <laughs> but else. still give it to me. So, I'll yes. do everything in my power to get it. <laughs> so explain to me that. I mean, why do you think that, uh, that AR is that, like augmented reality is that more important than virtual reality? Because AR has the promise of being on top of the real world in which we live. VR replicates the real world in which we live or creates a world of its own, which is great for entertainment. It, it has some practical uses if you want to do training and such. But AR has the promise of being not just the visor you wear. AR can be the windshield on your car. AR can be the window in your house. Mm. AR can be the companion that just becomes the screen that's always with you. Uh, and, and, and that's how I see AR. I, HoloLens is, is a small part of AR. But when I look at the future, VR for me is a curiosity that leads you to AR. Right. Mm. So that's why the battery life really needs to be longer. Exactly. If it's going to be part of our life. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of a complaint with Google Glass, which is an early, early, you know, kind of AR um, uh, device uh, along these lines. Now, granted, it's not really <laughs> here or even talked about much anymore. It's entering kind of the enterprise. But yeah, you do want that extra uh, battery life if, if that's what 
uh, you're going to be using it for.